The five fastest ways to go from 35% body fat to 10%, the extreme reset. Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Diamonds and I'm the founder of Sculpt by Science. It's time I told you the truth. To make these transformations happen over and over again was one giant and drastic leap. It's really the hardest decision I had to make and the exact reason why most people are stuck at 35% body fat. I'm a big believer that your life today is an accumulation of the decisions you made yesterday, a month ago, three months ago, when year and even a decade ago. Sometimes one wrong and bad decision can change the trajectory of your life and even with your health and fitness. You're stuck at 35% body fat or 30 for a reason. In this video, I'll finally give you the keys to move over and to get into a healthy body fat percentage and even get to 10%. I'll go into more detail with what exactly you need to do to reach that 10% body fat goal. Now, a Harvard paper was released showing that one in two people will be obese by 2030, and one in four people will be severely obese. Another study by the New England Journal of Medicine found that if your friend becomes obese, you have a 57% chance of increasing obesity yourself. And even if your friend lives hundreds of miles away. It sounds simple, but if you have a close connection with unhealthy people, then it's likely that you're going to be unhealthy yourself. My life mission is to build this channel as a resource to help people change their trajectory, change their life overall to be in better health. Look at Edgar. He's dropped close to 40 pounds in 16 weeks. Shannon, Tori, and the list goes on. In this video, I will share the five fastest ways to go from 35% body fat to 10% body fat. Four months ago, I made a drastic decision to follow my protocol, which I call the extreme reset very similar to what a lot of the people i look up to call monk mode let me explain you're fat or out of shape because you're making a bad decision and let's be honest and that's the truth now this isn't a blanket statement i know i've gotten out of shape myself because of life circumstances i've had a surgery last year which didn't help me out at all and i've had bumpy moments in my own life but with the extreme reset it will free you from this hamster wheel that you've been running the yo-yo with your health and fitness the first tip through history fat Fasting has been an integral part of various cultures and religious practices. In ancient Greece, Hippocrates advocated for fasting to promote health and well-being. In Christianity, we have Lent that you go through in a month. And in this very month where I'm making this video, the Muslim community is going through a practice which they call Ramadan. This water bottle represents 5,000 calories. Cup one is a representation of you being able to eat the entire day. This represents fasting for 16 hours and eating in an eight hour window period. And this represents fasting for 18 hours and eating in a six hour window period. Now, as you can see, when you have the entire day, it becomes very, very easy to eat 5,000 calories. And you can go on and on and on and add that caloric intake, you'll continuously gain weight. However, by simply just reducing your eating window period, you put much less calories into your body. And this is why everybody who starts fasting immediately starts seeing results because they've restricted their feeding according to time. And if you take it a step further, you'll see that you'll end up eating a little less calories overall. Consequently, as you can see, you've established a work deficit. Now this is a simple method. It is not a magic pill, but it is a simple method by restricting your caloric intake by time. But before we dive in, a lot of research and editing goes into making a video like this. Just do me one favor, if you wouldn't mind, gently hit the like button. It'd be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new. Let's kick it off. I personally would have never been able to make my transformation without fasting, and that's the truth. All these that you see, never been able to do without intermittent fasting. It's an eating pattern that cycles between periods of fasting and eating. It's that simple. The 16-8 method is popular for intermittent fasting, which involves fasting for 16 hours and eating in an eight hour window period each and every single day. And these are the benefits that I have felt myself. Number one is fat loss. It will help with fat loss by reducing your caloric intake and promoting promoting fat burning. And this was shown in a study conducted by Tinsley and colleagues, which demonstrated that participants lost weight after practicing time-restricted feeding. Insulin, it will also improve your insulin sensitivity. Intermittent fasting can help lower blood sugar levels and increase your insulin sensitivity. We also know that low insulin will increase lipolysis, potentially reducing the risk also of type 2 diabetes. And this was shown by a study by Mara and colleagues. It will enhance your brain health. Studies suggest that intermittent fasting may promote brain health by increasing the production of brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF. It was also shown by a research paper in 2014 by Matson and colleagues. Autophagy 
energy. Fasting can trigger this. It's a cellular waste removal process that promotes the regeneration of healthy cells and tissue. It will also help you reduce your overall inflammation. Intermittent fasting may help reduce inflammation, which is linked to various chronic diseases. Your heart health. It may improve the cardiovascular health by reducing your blood pressure, improving your cholesterol levels, and reducing triglycerides. How to use the 16-8 method? Quite simply, you just need to choose an eating window. Select an 8-hour window that works best for you and your schedule. Example, have a meal at 12 p.m. and your last meal at 8 p.m. or 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. This will be your eating period and you will fast for the remaining 16 hours. Plan balanced meals. During your eating window, consume balanced meals that include a mix of protein, healthy fats, and complex carbs. Ensure that you're hitting your macros throughout this entire time. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water both when you're fasting and your eating periods. Also, what I personally use is a cup of coffee in the morning, black, no sugar. Another tip is I would like you to begin gradually. If you're new to intermittent fasting, start with a shorter fasting period and gradually increase it to the full 16-8. Example, fast for 12 hours and eat in a 12-hour window period. We call it the 12-12. Then move into the 14-10 and then finally the 16-8. I also want you to listen to your body. Listen to the signals. If you're experiencing dizziness, excessive hunger, fatigue, adjust your fasting and eating periods. Be flexible. Honestly, the beginning will suck. You'll wake up in the morning and maybe feel a hunger pain and that's normal because ghrelin usually spikes the main hunger hormone according to your circadian rhythm and that will usually be in the morning. But as three days go by or even seven days, you won't even feel it anymore and you'll start reaping the benefits. This is extreme but I promise if you're at 35% body fat, this will help you tremendously. I've practiced intermittent fasting religiously starting with a 16-8 and my weight starts flying off and as I decrease my calories, I personally have gone doing the 18-6 fast and finally even the 24. Mind you, when I did this, it was towards the end of my competition prep. This is the honest truth. This is my truth. Fasting has been around for centuries and it's popular because it works and it will continue being there. Tip number two, to be able to get your results the fast way, I call this the diet monk mode. You need to have an ultra high level of discipline. What we want to do to lose fat, you need to establish a caloric deficit. And if your discipline is off, it is very, very difficult to ever see results. You get discouraged and then you're like, you know what, it didn't work. So when I say be disciplined, I don't mean eat between 1800 or 2000 calories or 2500. Be very intentional. So if you say, I am going to eat 2,500 calories, 200 protein, 250 carb, 50 fat. Those are arbitrary numbers. Follow those macros to the T and be a monk. Do not waver outside of your diet. If you go on a dinner, set yourself hard rules that I won't have dessert. I won't have cheesecake. But in my experience, whenever I start a dieting process, I fix my environment and I get rid of all the foods that I know aren't going to benefit me and I keep them away. The peanut butter, for example, I know that if I'm deep into a diet, it's very easy to take a big chunk of that and, and put it on my rice cake. The point is, is that because you're not disciplined enough with your diet, it is why you're stuck at your particular body fat percentage. The more detail you put in your diet, the more detail you'll see in your body. And I say this with my clients all the time. Another reason why keto is so popular is because it's very easy to discern and just say, hey, I am only going to eat a high protein diet and the food has to have fats and I am keeping my carbohydrate intake minimal. Why most people see results is because they're very disciplined with that particular diet they follow. These methods all allow you to be in a caloric deficit, but the goal here is to be as disciplined as possible and you will see results. So for myself, I will do the intermittent fasting. I will follow a specific set of calories and I will be disciplined. I will not eat more. I will not eat less. I do not drink alcohol when I'm deciding to go through my calories because it doesn't serve me. And I decide when I'm doing a competition prep that, hey, I am not going to have any cheat meals or any food outside because it's not going to serve me. Now, that is what I mean by going into monk mode, is setting yourself a hard rule and following those particular parameters. With my clients, with their travel, I've developed a parameter called the mechanical rules of fat loss. Now, I won't go into detail about how that works, but it is extreme, but it allows them to see the results they want without having to think, can I do this or can I not? There is only black and there's white. And with that being said, if you want my help to find get you at peak performance in terms of your life, in terms of your business, with your health overall, and finally see your six pack. I honestly believe each and every single person should one time in their life see their six pack. If you are a busy professional and you want to be at peak performance, you want to finally get your health in order, you want to be able to inspire your family as well to make these changes, I am your guy. Fill out the application in the description down below. Don't waste any more time. And if you're serious, fill it out, book a call in with me, and I'll help you reach that particular goal.
but be very disciplined with the diet. That is what the Extreme Reset is about. And it is about following a protocol and not breaking that protocol for anybody. Tip number three, walk 15 to 20,000 steps. That may seem very daunting, but what that is, is your calories out, your caloric expenditure, and set yourself a very high goal, 15,000 for example. And the worst case scenario is, you may not hit 15K, but you'll get to 10, and you'll see the weight come off because you're expending a lot of calories. I have had clients, the ones who are at 15K and above, we never ever have an issue with dropping weight. So being disciplined, this will allow you to drop a lot of calories. In my experience, if you're anywhere between 160 to 200 pounds in terms of your overall weight, 10,000 steps will help you burn 500 calories daily. 500 calories daily gives you 3,500 in a week, which equals a pound of fat. Now, if you're at 15,000 and even 20,000 each and every single day, the weight comes flying off and it comes fast. And why I recommend steps instead of running severely, like doing an intense level of hit, is that it's difficult to sustain. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it at all. You can throw in a hit session here and there, but overall, you wanna just be conscious of how many steps you're taking. I use my Apple Watch for that very reason. I tell everybody, hey, I'm doing 15K steps no matter what. Tell your friends, set a challenge. I actually just did that with my clients. I set them all the challenge. The person who gets the most steps in the month of April will get an extra month of free coaching and then for second and third place, I've added some cash prizes there. But hit 15,000 steps, watch how your weight comes flying off. And research has shown countless times that steps will tap mainly into fat stores and this will help you decrease your overall body fat percentage because you're moving energy out. That's exactly what you want. Tip number four, which most people struggle with and I think this is where most people fail. Try and sleep a minimum of seven hours. If you cannot do that, you're playing the game on hard mode, you're already losing the battle. Be disciplined with your sleep. I say this all the time. I've had the conversation in my group coaching in a call yesterday and with all my clients, I've been able even just to give them an hour extra of sleep just to get them there, just to make them conscious. And all of a sudden they're losing so much more weight than they ever have, eating the most food they ever have. Because when you're not sleeping eight hours or if you're sleeping five hours, you're changing the internal chemistry of your body. It's like making the decision to put vodka in your car engine. It is not efficient. It will damage your internals. And overall, in the future, sleeping very little can lead to various diseases. But when I've had clients being able to get to seven to eight hours of average sleep, they're not craving food anymore. They're not craving highly palatable foods. They feel stronger in the gym. They're energetic. They're crushing it at work. Sleeping eight hours will help you tremendously with losing fat. And from all the tips I've given you in terms of being a monk or doing an extreme reset, follow this tip just try and get more sleep I remember in pre-med when I was with the hustle hard mentality sleep when I'm dead mentality it killed my results it made it suffer I could have really crushed pre-med and luckily I was able to make a different decision when I got into med school I became more productive more energetic I became a better person I recorded more YouTube videos and it allowed me to have a more successful life overall I, I cannot stress enough how sleep will really impact everything. It will change it all fundamentally. That should be your foundation. And this will allow you to lose weight fast. Even simply, that because when you're sleeping eight hours, you will feel less hungry consequently. If you're sleeping six hours, you're gonna have two hours in your day extra where you're thinking about food or where you will just wanna reach for that piece of cake or that little piece of chocolate or that little cookie that you have in your counter table. Get the eight hours of sleep. And then finally, something that has helped me tremendously, some people may be against it, is two supplements. Caffeine has been tremendously helpful in terms of my endurance training and also my alertness and overall energy expenditure. Caffeine has shown to be able to have lipolytic effect. When you have more caffeine, it will stimulate you to move more and it will also reduce your appetite. So I've always had a black coffee and in terms of taking it another level up, I take Pride by EHP Labs. It is an incredible pre-workout. It gives me a sustained level of energy throughout the day. That will help me burn more calories. I've noticed I burn an extra 200 calories when I've taken and pride for example and the same thing is with the whey protein it makes it efficient for me to be able to hit my protein intake it also will reduce my hunger levels and finally those two supplements will change everything in terms of losing weight fast because they promote satiation they will reduce your caloric intake they'll also improve your ability to move more and burn more calories at the end but i've done these tips extremely consistently and in a disciplined fashion and they've allowed me to change my overall internal structure. Yes, we have caloric deficit. We've gone into the details, but what I want this video to be about is having a mindset 
when you start your transformation, take it seriously. Take it as serious as your job and you will see yourself in a different position. Almost believe that your life depends on it because you only have one body. But I'm ranting. I'll leave the video here. If you're looking to work with me, if you want me to help you improve your overall health, finally see your six pack, be in better shape, know exactly what you need to eat and you want to cut out the noise, fill out the application in the description below. I'll reach out to you myself. And if you enjoyed this video, hit with a gentle thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.